I'm Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> okay, I'm actually not, but I am standing on the stairs of a beautiful old manor home in the Deep South. Stick around and I'll tell you where you'd need to go to find yourself being treated like a true Southern Belle. How's my accent? West Glow Spa is situated in the Blue Ridge Mountains outside of Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Run by the vivacious and spirited Glinda Valentine, who, when she's not leading a three, six, or 14 mile hike through these lush blue mountains, which by the way, if you ask to do the 14 mile hike, they'll pitch a tent for you, and then they get a massage therapist to do your feet. How nice is that? When she's not doing something like that, you can find her in the kitchen teaching a cooking class or you'll find her laughing and chatting with the guests over breakfast and dinner. This is truly the kind of southern hospitality that would make someone like Scarlett O'Hara blush with jealousy. Hmm. It's really, really nice here. I think I'll just sit a spell. Walking onto the historic 20-acre estate at West Glow Spa is like taking a step back in time. Whoa! Nice! The Victorian Manor House was built in 1916. History surrounds you at every turn. I dare you to pick out a favorite among the eight unique bedrooms. Shall it be the one with the lace bedspread? Or this high one that you need a small staircase to assist you with your climb? Or maybe you'd rather be away from the group in your own private, cozy little cottage. Dinner is served by candlelight in the main dining room. Strange how they didn't serve any deep fried chicken. Guess it wouldn't stand a chance against the prawns and garlic mashed potatoes. Early morning rises are awarded with the warmth of the sun in the breakfast room. And in the evenings, you can sit by the fire in an old fashioned parlor or find yourself lost in a book found in the library. Stolen library book. Uh oh. We're here at West Glow Spa with the owner, Glinda Valentine. It's fabulous here. Thank you. Absolutely lovely. So the house itself was built in and around 1915? The, yeah, the early 1900s. It took several years to build the house. And the columns were... Uh, the were columns were made elsewhere and brought here by oxen up the river. Evidently times were very hard and the roads were bad. Travel was not easy, no. and I guess that's Can't why it took so long to build these big homes. There are not many of them left in this area. This is one of the most magnificent, and we're it just, we is. love sharing it. What is your personal philosophy when it comes to Westglow, to the spa? What made you decide? I have always believed, uh, since Nathan Pritikin's teachings, that diet and exercise really and truly, you really can reverse artery disease mm. with proper diet and exercise. And I completely believe with all my heart now that you have to have relaxation such as meditation or yoga along with eating properly and making yourself as active as you can be. It takes all three for us to live a quality life and I really do believe there are people I know that are friends of mine now in their 90s. I know we can live and to be a hundred and feel good. And still be healthy. Yeah. If we're aggressive about our health. Yes. But we have to be aggressive about it. Why is it named West Glow? Elliot Dangerfield was a very prominent artist from this area. He was, lived here in New York. This was his summer home. And he built West Glow. Mm -hmm. And he named it West Glow. And I did not know that until I'd lived here a few years. And I found an, a history book about Mr. Dangerfield. And it said that he built this house facing exactly due west. And he said the sun is never glaring, always glowing. And he named it West, West Glow. Glow. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been really, really lovely. Thanks. Good, it's been fun. <laughs> Across the grounds is the Life Enhancement Center. There's no shortage of ways to lose a pound or two with the fully equipped exercise room. But fortunately for me, there was no pressure to do anything. Time is measured very differently here. Perform the 
this facial of all facials, the Echo 2. I'd like to introduce to you, this is Yvonne Vallarta, and she's going to give me oxygen in my dermis or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The Echo 2 uh, treatment. Echo stands for exfoliation and cleansing, hydrating, and then oxygen. We've already done the first three steps, right? and now we are doing the oxygen. In total, we are spritzing on 87 vitamins and minerals. And so this is absorbed into the skin because the oxygen is there? Yes. Easier? So I couldn't just put that on my face? The oxygen helps to get the vitamins and minerals better absorbed into the skin. Okay. So how long does this treatment take? The treatment takes about 35 to 40 minutes to perform, although we do an hour because we make it part of a facial. Right. And how was this discovered? Who, who was playing with an oxygen tank and then discovered that this would work good or work well on skin? The man who founded this treatment, his name is John Gardner, and he is a research respiratory therapist in Colorado. What was he doing with this that he was? He was uh, doing research uh, with hyperbaric oxygen chambers, and they were using burn victims. And they found that the burn victims, their skin repaired so fast uh, in the hyperbaric oxygen chambers, and they had less scarring and new tissue formed. Just from using the oxygen? Just from using oxygen, yes. I've heard that, you know, movie stars, Uma Thurman, and, you know, all the these people who are continually in front of the camera they do this sort of thing every day every day can you do something like this every day you could I think they do it every day because you just get addicted to this it, it feels is. so good oh, mm -hmm. it feels it just feels like my skin has been dry for a year mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're putting water on my skin you can see a difference immediately I can show you I can take Would a look. You like? Yeah? Yes. Okay, I can take a look with the Go mirror. ahead. All right, here we go. Take a look. <laughs> You'll always feel a little bit more tightness on that side. Look! Half of me is now my... is 20, and the other half is my real age. 22. This side is 22. That's amazing! Thank you. You're welcome. It's been my pleasure. Mm -hmm. No, I think the pleasure's been online. <laughs> You've been oxygenated. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Mark Higby. Hey. And we're going to go hiking. That's right. But before we do that, can you tell me exactly where we are? We are in Boyne Rock, North Carolina, and we're on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, and we're going to go around Price Lake here. Uh, there's about 600 miles of Blue Ridge Parkway, and we are on the southern tip of it. So we'll get laced up here and all right. It'll be a little bit of a cardiovascular exercise for us. All right, I'll race you. Okay, go. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of this area? Well, ironically enough, between us and the mountain that sits in front of us, it's a flat area and it is a prehistoric lake bed. Really? Yeah. In the winter, can you hike through here? Are these, are these trails free of snow? Absolutely. The rhododendrons stay green, but the rest of the foliage disappears and you can see up to the sky. And here's the buddy beaver at work. That's something else that'll be interesting coming up through here. There's beavers been at work. It's from a beaver and he's, he's been like gnawing on this for about a week. <laughs> it's going to take him a while before he gets his dam built. Yeah, it's going to be a big dam. But it'll be fabulous when it's done. <laughs> Tell me, Mark, would you consider this to be Bigfoot country then? No, this, isn't, this would not be Bigfoot country, even though my father tried to convince me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the fear of the Bigfoot? Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think I've watched too many 70s movies. <laughs> so what other things can you do out here, aside from walking? And... Well, we've got, uh, there's fishing here on the lake, and there are also lots of streams around we can use for trout fishing. Uh, and then uh, just a short drive away, the Watauga River and the New River offer some pretty serious whitewater rafting for really? us. Really? Yeah. So you got a little bit of everything then? A little bit of everything. You can relax, you can have a nice nap, and you can go for a bike ride. The nicest thing about it is you can do as much as you like or as little as you like. Right, yeah. And fishing in here. Absolutely. This is all stocked? Yes, they stock it annually. Nice. Let's keep going up over here. Okay. Some nice sun over here.
We're here in the kitchen of the West Glow Spa with Glinda, who does the majority of the cooking classes here, yes? Yes, I do. And so what do we have here? What are you going to... Well, today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about dressings, uh, okay. a simple made way to make a healthy dressing, uh, and also a little bit about tofu. So we'll start, and let me ask you, this is a mystery. Now tell me what this is. The mystery food. This is mystery food. Bridget, that's cottage cheese that has been put in a processor and all the curds have been taken out. Doesn't it taste cheesy? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take It doesn't a, taste like the watery stuff you get when you... With the curds yeah, in it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Something about that word, curds. <laughs> okay, we will put a little of the cottage cheese right here in a bowl. Okay. And we're going to take some non-fat buttermilk. And you're going to mix this with your cottage cheese that has been put in a processor. Uh -huh. And then we're going to put a little bit of garlic in it. Yeah. And you would put some fresh herbs. Now what you have is buttermilk and blended cottage cheese is the base of your dressing. High in calcium, right. high in protein, no fat at all, and a lot of food value. Right. And Bridget, this is going to taste just like ranch dressing. Can I? Absolutely. Here's your spoon. Oh, okay. No Take a little taste dipping. here. Okay. Oh, isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. I'm glad you like that. I like that. that. Yum. What else? What's next? I'm going to make you a tofu shake. All right. Have you ever had tofu? I've had it fried. Ah. Oh, you know what I mean? Like in a, oh. in a stir fry Maybe and then in a it Chinese takes restaurant. A, yes, and it takes up the flavor of the bean curd and stuff. But I don't Are you hearing what soy foods do for us today? How interesting no, I, the soy foods no. are. Bring the right. uh, fruit, and we're going to put the tofu and some ice into our blender. Okay. And uh, we will put our fruit in here, some melon, some pineapple strawberries yeah. and we're going to turn this blender on we're going to put a um, little bit of um, vanilla flavoring in here oh. real vanilla extract and then just hit the blender and we're going to have a wonderful little tofu drink yeah, huh. we'll pour a little bit of this in a pitcher for you here and we'll get you a little taste this is so nutritious, Bridget, because it's very high in protein, it's very high in calcium, it's icy, it's wonderful. <laughs> mm. That is very good. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> it's a great appetite suppressant. You drink oh, this an yeah. hour before dinner and you're not going to be so hungry. So what else do you make with tofu? Do you make um, cheesecakes? Wonderful cheesecakes, tofu cheesecakes. Well, while you're doing that, I've had a bit of a day, so I'm going to go for a cranial sacral oh, massage. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah. You do this, and I'll go for the massage. <laughs> <laughs> How about I drink this, and I'll come back and take a look at that Wonderful. after the massage. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm pooped. I've had a very, very full day. I have done some hiking and some walking and some swimming and. Now I am here for a cranial sacral session with R.J. Hamisfar. Hamisfar. That's right. Virginia. I got it right. So, uh, can you tell me what is a cranial sacral massage? What is that exactly? Basically, we're working with the cerebral spinal fluid, which flows around your cranium and down your spine mm -hmm. to your sacrum. And by working with that, we're affecting your autonomic nervous system, which puts the body into a nice place of balance. Some people have described this as being. Uh, almost an out-of-body experience. Some people feel like they're getting real heavy. So, RJ, I've, I've heard people say that when they go for a cranial sacral that they, they actually get very emotional. Some people will experience, you know, they will cry or they will... The absolute release of tension is what will bring that about. Is that true? That is very true. The body has a, what we call cellular memory and by doing this type of work and even any kind of massage people could have an emotional type release so that's where we provide a nice safe comfortable place for people to allow that to happen and we allow that to happen some therapists will even say it's okay to cry I usually don't because uh, I just allow the people to be in the place that they need to be I'm sorry this is a dumb question but does the human head really weigh eight pounds or some some way more <laughs> So what, what you're doing is you're actually manipulating the fluid, is that right? Manipulating the cerebral spinal fluid, which is actually working deeper than the muscles and the fascia and the bones. 
and this affects your autonomic nervous system which has a sympathetic and a parasympathetic division. And people carry the stress in their different parts of their body. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them carry it right here in your neck and shoulder and I can feel that your neck is very tight. My neck is very tight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you and saying? This, <laughs> this is a nice treatment actually after you when you first come to West Glow, uh -huh. uh, because it gets you into that place of balance and lets the other work work better and also at the end of your stay here it'll balance all the massage work and all the other treatments that you might have had at West Glow. Can also. you can you OD on things like can you get too many massages? Massage is uh, something you probably need to spread out over two or three days because you not have more than one in three days because you're releasing some of the toxins in your, oh. in your body and flushing it out and that's why we insist that you drink lots of water after a session really? because that helps it work better. get my hands done. Ah, look at that. How would you like to live in a town called Blowing Rock, North Carolina? It sounds dangerous, but it's not. West Glow Spa is only about a five minute drive from this community, and the town has no shortage of tourists. They come to shop, eat, explore, and of course, relax. The slow pace and bountiful southern hospitality is a welcomed haven for a lot of people. The biggest tourist attraction is the view from, surprise, surprise, Blowing Rock. The immense cliff is 4,000 feet above sea level and looking over the phenomenal Johns River Gorge, 3,000 feet below. This creates a flume through which the wind sweeps with such force it will actually return light objects cast into the valley. Legend has it that a Cherokee brave who was torn between the conflict of duty and feelings of the heart leapt from the rock to the wilderness below. His grief-stricken maiden prayed daily on top of the boulder until one day a gust of wind blew her lover back up onto the ledge and into her arms. See, this one I broke it and I chewed it off. Oh, yeah. you shouldn't chew it off. You shouldn't chew it off? No, what do you, you do if you break a nail and you're on vacation and you don't, I mean, do you just grab you the don't. kitchen scissors and just like... Mm -hmm. Well, if you, if you want to cut it short, as short as the others, if it hasn't broken all the way down into the quick, or if you, maybe you should buy a bottle of nail glue and keep it with you, and you can put a drop of nail glue on it if it's way yeah. down and then wait. Until what, what, this is Krista Singleton, by the way. She's doing my Hi. nails. <laughs> nail glue. What is nail glue? Is there such a thing? What? Are, uh huh. It'll help men. It's not going to stay on there for very long, but it's kind of a temporary thing until you can get to a nail technician. So you just can, glue it wherever you've ripped it. You just put a little drop of glue where you've torn it. Now, where do you? Okay, you you keep all your nail polish here. But at home, where's a good place to keep your nail polish? I keep it all in a big container in my laundry room, which is, it's not where my heater is, and it's not cold. You should, you should always keep it at room temperature. It's made to be and stored at room temperature. How do you make your nail polish last a long time? Is there even a way to do that, to make it? So to make it last longer, you can, if you're giving yourself a manicure and you've used cuticle oil, and used creams and stuff like that, even if you haven't. Put some alcohol on a cotton ball and wipe your nails clean. Really good. Maybe do it like two or three times before you begin. Why is it the oil in the nail? All the oil can cause air bubbles in your nail polish mm. or it can cause it to peel off a lot sooner than, than it would normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we can put the color on? Yep, now All right. it's time to polish. Mm. This is the color I chose. Great. Most of you know how the rest of the story ends. Go get your own captain's chair, start your nails, away you go. <laughs> go do nails. Hey, oh, can I show them? Mm -hmm. Pretty. Charlotte, North Carolina is your starting point for your venture to West Glow. I rented a car and made a number of wonderful stops along the way. Normally the ride should take about two hours, most of which was climbing upwards. 
Before the final destination is the site of THE Blowing Rock, and then the town of Blowing Rock itself. About five minutes beyond, you'll come around a curve in the road, and there is the breathtaking view of West Glow Spa. Sitting here in the warm sun and smelling the fall leaves, the feeling of a gentle breeze, I can't believe I'm looking at the Blue Ridge Mountains. This valley seems as though it's getting ready to sleep for the winter, covered with a woolly blanket made of glorious shades of reds, golds, and burnt oranges. Sitting here on the veranda, I'm storing my thoughts of all of the people who've made this place more than just another spa. Yeah, I've heard about Southern hospitality, but the staff here makes it an art and gently eases it upon you like a sweet goodnight kiss. Elliot Dangerfield named this place West Glow because the sun is always glowing and never glaring. I think he'd be happy to know the same goes for the people. kitchen at the West Coast. <laughs> Let's let Bridget fondle the tofu. The tofu. Am I supposed to stop? What you <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> all right. You can't laugh when you're doing this because then you get all these little oh, laugh lines. Well, then time. I'll just look at you. How's that? I'm here on the stairs of an old manor house in the Old South. That's too old in one sense. 